obviously, like always, just raise your hand in the uh, participant section if you have a question for Sam and keep an eye on the chat so you know who has the next couple of questions. Um, and please uh, state your name and affiliation so uh, Sam knows who he's talking to. Uh, we'll get started here with the first question for Sam. Go ahead, Paul. Hey, Sam, Paul Hamilton, WGRZ. Um, were you open to a long-term deal or with the uncertainty of revenues and just the uncertainty of everything going on right now, did it seem to make more sense just to get a one-year contract this time around? Um, no, I think uh, every player in, in the, the times right now would be open to a long-term deal. Um, unfortunately, that's not always the case, and it's it's not always available. Um, so I'm 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 certainly comfortable uh, playing on short-term deals like like I always have. So um, you know, this is just another one. Hey, Sam John Worrell with the AP. Congrats on the new deal. To follow up on that, though, I mean. Do you feel you've proven everything, everything that you need to prove during, during your first, um, you know, five, uh, four, four or five, five, five seasons here? I mean, and, and, and is, it, is there a level of frustration that this is just another, you know, in, in a sense, prove it, you know, do it and prove it deal? Uh, yes and no. Um, you know, I, I think I've, I've done a, a lot that I want to be recognized for and, and, and be here long term for sure. There's, there's no question about it. Um, do I think I've proven everything? No, absolutely not. I, I don't think anyone can say that with, with uh, the level or, or lack of success we've, we've really had as a team. So, um, you know, yes and no to that question. Hi, Sam. Lance Lysowski from the Buffalo News. Congratulations. Thanks for doing this. Uh, I guess, you know, there's been a lot of change this offseason. It's been a long one, but you guys added Eric Stahl. You added Taylor Hall. What was your reaction to the moves that Kevin Adams has made since he took over as general manager? Exciting. Um, you know, uh, as a player, you, you love to see the fresh, fresh faces, um, you, you know, the, the, the level of, of players they're bringing in. Um, it's very exciting to see. And, and um, you know, we're all we're all looking forward to coming back and, and trying to turn things around and, and seeing those guys coming in, um, you know, is, is obviously great. Hi, Sam. It's Bill Hoppy with the Times Herald. Hope you're well. Um, I realize it was uh, a while ago, but just what was your reaction to uh, the regime, the, the GM change and, and, the, and the other changes in June? Um. I mean, it, 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 it seems sudden. I mean, it, it kind of shocked everyone. I'm, I'm sure you guys felt the same. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that's really out of our control. Um, you, know, you know, it was more of a reaction when, when, uh, when we were seeing new guys kind of, kind of being brought into the locker room and, and, and guys, uh, you, know, you know, players being brought into the organization. That was, that was kind of more the reaction for us um, and, and more the excitement level. But... Um, certainly a shock back in June when, when everything started to change like that. Hey there, Sam. Mike Harrington, Buffalo News here. Thanks for your time. Um, we're approaching Halloween. There's no schedule. There's no timeline for a return to play for this league. I mean, as a veteran player, you, you could go maybe close to a year without a game. How are you going to be dealing with this long period here both mentally and physically to try to be ready for whenever they tell you a season's going to start yeah it's bizarre um you know it's very it's very odd um being in Vancouver here seeing the leaves change I don't think I've seen that since I've been 15 years old so it's 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 a little bit of a mental grind to 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 um you know stay in it um you know luckily I enjoy the the working out process the the training process but um, you know, that's, that's usually a couple month gig. It's, it's, it's not usually, a, a full year of, of, of doing that, unfortunately. So, um, you, you know, I, I think everyone's kind of looking, looking, um, you know, forward to the conversations in the next few weeks of, of, of trying to get this back on track and, and trying to get back into our cities, um, you know, and get on the ice with our teammates again. So, um, you know, we're, we're kind of looking forward to that process. That's, that's really starting now, and, and hopefully it's sooner than later. Hey, Sam. John Vogel here. Hope all is well. 
uh, to kind of follow up on that, were there times where you kind of ramped up hoping things would get, uh, get going and then have to back off a little bit with the training? And is that kind of how you'll have to do it in these next few months? And uh, you mentioned getting together. And have you guys been able to like set up chats with each other just to stay, uh, stay together? Kind of? Yeah, um, from a training um, standpoint, um, I, I think it gets tougher from here on out um, with uncertainty. Um, you know, I think the last few months, um, I've always kind of expected to still be home and uh, at this, uh, at this point, unfortunately. Um, but I, I think it, uh, it, it, it's kind of more of a guessing game and, and you got to kind of convince yourself to take some time in, in certain weeks, um, you know, to, to, to keep everything fresh. Um, cause, cause like I said, it gets to be a long off season. So, um, and yeah, everyone kind of keeps in touch. I, I think when you, um, you know, now the team calls start, start to happen. Like I said, we, we, we start to get this thing back on track and, um, you know, get back to playing hockey. Hey, Sam, it's Lance again. In what ways do you feel that your game took that next step last season? Um, I, I think just in, uh, you, you know, obviously with the ice time I increasing, um, you know, I think I, I felt fresher that much more each game uh, with those added minutes. Um, you know, I think it was it was an attribute to the work I've, I've been putting in in the off seasons, um, and you know, just that much older and stronger, and and, and was able to stay fresh on a consistent level. Um, you know, was really happy with that. Hey, Sam, John Warrell, once again, um, you you touched on you know, the need to make the playoffs and, and, and where this franchise has been. How much does this fall on, you know, yourself and Jack and, 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 and Ristolainen, the longer term play, the, the players who've been here the longest on, on getting this together? How much, I don't want to say that, I don't want to place the blame on you guys, but how much does it fall on you guys to, 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 to really lead the charge and turn this around and maybe let your frustrations out in 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 in, in getting in, in harnessing those frustrations and getting a better result. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's important to to use those um, experiences, um, you know, whether they're they're positive or negative ones. Um, you know, as you get older and and you played more years, you try and use those to your advantage. Um, but with that being said, there's a lot of new faces in the locker room. Um, and, and we know firsthand that every year is different every year. Um, you know, we've been in different positions at certain parts of the year. Um, and it, it's just a matter of putting that together. Um, and, and, and whether, as it is us, us using that frustration and, and, and channeling that, um, it's using the new guys as well that, that have had success and had experience in the league as well. Hey, Sam, Bill again. Um, did, did you know Kevin Adams at all be, uh, before he took over as GM? And, and have you spoken to him uh, these past few months? Gotten to know him a little, I guess. Yeah, I've actually known him quite well. Um, he, he's been in Buffalo, I think, ever since my first year in the league. Um, he, he's been around it all, all, quite, quite a bit. Um, you know, whether it was skating with him at the Harbor Center, um, and uh, obviously with, with the Sabres the last little bit. Sam, Mike Harrington again here. You talked about the changes and the discussions that might happen coming forward. And one of the big things that is already out is there may be an all-Canadian division. So you might not see the Leafs in Ottawa, and you might see a different group of teams this year. Um, how does that change the dynamic for you if you're suddenly in a division with – the Capitals, the Islanders, the Penguins. I mean, it might be a completely different kind of season. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think everyone's uh, got to prepare for that. Um, you, you know, I, I don't think you uh, prepare differently. Um, I mean, anything can really happen. Um, you know, I think it's the, the most important thing is just uh, being back and playing hockey, um, you know, whenever we're ready to do that. Hey, Sam, Mike Pockler from HockeyBuzz.com. Can you reflect a little bit um, on your first year playing for uh, head coach Ralph Kruger? Um, 
you you know it's 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 awesome to play under him um you know just just the level of honesty and 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 the communication that he has um you know you know is something that any player wants to play under um you know i think that's a that's a big part of you know why you see these players wanting to come here right now um and and you know i i truly believe it's 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 because of the gut kind of person he is um and uh you, you know how bad players want to play for him All right. Thank you, everybody. And uh, thank you, Sam, for taking the time in an early morning in Vancouver. Have a good rest of your yep. day. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dirk. All right. And for everybody else, uh